Hmm. Well, I know you can't put God in your title. Hmm. Evidently, because I didn't even get a commercial this morning. And I, I don't know if it's coffee or nectar or God. But one of them three words you can't use. Thanks for the censorship, YouTube. Good morning, Mama Rinda. You're looking lovely as ever. Hello, Tim. Uh, does, he use a, does he use a paper straw wrapped in plastic, or does he use a plastic straw wrapped in paper? You saw an ad? I didn't see an ad. So now, how are you doing? Nice to have you here. You're looking lovely as ever also. I just, I just, when I flipped mine on, it didn't have an ad. It just went right to me. So I don't know. Usually it has an ad on there. Well, good. I'm making money. Today's my short day, 830. You're burning as ever. I bet you are. I didn't get a chance to catch it because I was busy, 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 busy yesterday. But uh, we had the wedding. And then I did some more stuff. Had to go to the grocery store, made dinner. I did a bunch of stuff yesterday. So a um, little sore, a little tired. Well, thanks, Tim. Had a beer last night watching Bobby Sprinkle's live, show, uh, live stream. I went to bed and I got some sleep. Yeah. Till the phone rang at 1230. It was my son across the street. Bobby uses the Dixie cup. Um, anyways, so I called him back. I said, yeah, you called. What did you want? So I thought I heard somebody yelling, hello. Must have pocket dialed you. Gee, thanks. I was sleeping. Well, you know how hard it is to go back to bed after that? Real hard, because I was relaxed. Finally went back to bed about 1.30. And I got up at four. So. so much for a good night's sleep. Use a Dixon cup. <laughs> That's funny. He's probably still in bed. It was 10.30 when I went to bed last night. And uh, they were still going. So I don't Bobby usually likes to be in bed around 8.30 or so. His time. So. Good morning, Cheryl. How are you doing? Nice to have you here. There it is. It's posted All again. Molly Gordon, nice to have you here. Cheryl and Molly and Mama Rinda, you're all three of you are looking lovely as ever. There she is. I'm Where are so you going? To work. I thought you had Mondays and Tuesdays off. Emily's going. I'm covering her ship. Oh, yeah. But she won't cover yours. I wouldn't. I would say, nope. Too bad. You don't need a vacation. You just started working to begin with. I need the money. Look how burnt I am. It hurts. Oh, you look like a lobster. You should see my legs. You what? I couldn't eat the blankets hurt my legs last night when I was trying to sleep. My yeah. legs are bright red, the top of them. Oh my god. I couldn't even wear my regular work shirt because it was too tight. Did you uh didn't you think about putting on some sunscreen? Yeah, I probably should have done that, huh? Yeah, that would have been a thought. Sure. No, but I want to get a nice all even burnt. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Hurts. Yeah, wait till it turns to blisters. And Tom said, I'm proud of you. You're getting up, going to work. I'm like, oh, I'm going to make it the whole day, but I'm going. You need to put some, uh, what is it, vinegar. 
put some vinegar on it. Mark takes a burnout. Oh. And Kevin, yeah. please, does your face hurt? Because it's killing me. <laughs> now, Kevin, that was nice. I'm more that wasn't nice of you. I had fun, though. Well, I'm glad Bucky's going to be singing on soon. I haven't seen him since Saturday, and, or yeah, Saturday when he went to uh, sign on for or do the camping thing and didn't even see him then. So. But I'm glad you guys had a good uh, camping trip there, Cheryl. Freezing. You're going to be freezing. Everything you touch is going to be cold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, everything touches me, it's going to get hit. Kevin says, sorry, opportunity. I know, when opportunity hits, you got to take it. I, didn't think, I wouldn't expect anything less from him. Okay. And me either. I can take it. I've been up since 4 o'clock. I went out and got everything ready because I'm going to my Salvation Army sale this morning and coming back and hooking up the hot dog cart and going to pitch some wieners today. Nice. I'm gonna sling some sausage. <laughs> oh Lord, watch out. I'm glad I went down the river. It was fun. I had a good day. Good. This is videos. The funny video is uh these young kids dragged their kayak up a sand dune and went down the sand dune straight into the river. I thought for sure they were going to get wrecked, but they did it good until the last one. You'll see the guy in the front falls off. Huh. I, put it, I put it up on YouTube. Yeah, that's cool. I tried to go live, but there wasn't very good reception. Yeah. And I had to keep putting the phone down because I had to paddle. <laughs> so it was kind of hot. Where was your uh, phone holder that you have in your car? You should have hooked that onto your kayak. Uh -oh. I was so nervous I was going to drop my phone. I was going to get wet. So I just went live like twice. Yeah, twice. I seen the, I got two notifications you went live, but I didn't see anything on it. Anyways, uh, there's a guy that does that stuff. You lose your phone, he'll go swimming in the river and find stuff. They, I seen a video yesterday of him doing it out in Phoenix, Arizona. He was river uh, swimming, and he found a brand new iPhone 10. And it was still, the alarm was still going on. It was in a bag. So he uh, he pulled out the SIM card, put it in another iPhone, and got the phone number and called the person and said, hey, I found your phone. Yeah, um, there was a guy in the river yesterday with snorkel and everything. He was doing the same thing. Look, yeah. Looking for stuff. But it's too, well, early. It's too early now. You're going to go, to, like, in August. That's when all the stuff falls out. There's a lot of people <coughs> um, passing the lake and they buffer a little bit. Well, anyways, he, uh, uh, I guess, I think the man, it's called Man in Stream or Man in the River or whatever, but this guy does this and it's pretty cool. He was, uh, he found, uh, he, I don't, he doesn't use oxygen. He just free dives down. And uh, he uh, was down there. In, the, one, in one dive, he found two pairs of sunglasses. And then in another dive, he found a $10 bill and a pair of glasses. And then he found a couple of, he found two phones at one time. Uh, but he was videoing down there, and he found footsteps in the bottom of a riverbed 20 feet deep he said man that freaked me out where do you get footsteps at in a riverbed 20 feet deep who walks in the river 20 feet deep yeah and you can distinctly tell they were footprints too Yeah, yeah, well, you're welcome. Good morning, Ron. Nice to have you here. Good to see you. You know what I wish I got on video? 
was uh, at the end where we got out of the river. It comes to this fork. I think I've shown you guys it, Davis Park, and it's where the Swift River and the Saco River meet. And it's pretty rough. There's a lot of rocks, and I was so nervous about going through it, I almost pulled my kayak out and walked. My friend Deb's like, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, my God. You would have thought I, I won a marathon. I was so excited. I did it. I hit one, yeah, one little rock. I just, I just scraped over the rock. I could feel it under my butt. And then it was smooth sailing. I did it. I did it. I did it. And I called yeah. Tom. I'm like, I did it. I did it. And he's like, I know. I'm up on the bridge. I'm like, how the heck did you know when we were coming in? He goes, I didn't. I was going swimming, and I saw you guys coming down the river. Yeah, that was awesome. That's cool. I should have had. I should have given Rob my phone because he went through it first. He could have videotaped me coming through. I didn't even think of it. Yeah, I know, Kevin. I don't know who walks below water. <laughs> the Antichrist. I have no idea, but you could see the footprints. Good morning there, JC. You're looking lovely as ever. Nice to have you here. Oh, and then there was a kid. They have a like a, a rope swing. <laughs> all, all these young kids, 20 years old, just swinging on the rope, jumping in the river. This one kid apparently forgot to let go. He went back and smacked himself right off the tree. I was like, oh, that's got to hurt. <laughs> Did you catch that on the video? Said he, no. And then he came back out, and then he let go of the rope. So he, like, hit the tree, bounced back out, and hit. <laughs> he came up. Everyone's going, oh, dude, you all right? He's like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. If he's limping out of the river. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you are not fine. That hurt. Dumb kids. These are the same kids that are going down the sand dune in their kayak. With, like, six people on, on the kayak. Yeah, they're dumb kids. You know. Yeah. You know how they are. You can hear everybody in the video saying, yeah, I would have done that four to ten years ago. I'm like, yeah, more like 20. Well, the ones that are smart are the ones that let go of the rope and do a triple windy on the way off the rope, you know. Triple somersault with a half gainer and a twist. One year, my friend did it in a dinghy. Like down the sand dunes in a dinghy. I couldn't even watch. I'm like, this is not going to end well. But he did it. Huh. Like, He's going to break the boat. We're going to be stuck out here. Well, you know what they say, don't rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. And the water was high because it's rained a lot. It was really deep, so clean, the water you can see right to the floor. Well, it's a good thing it was deep then, because then uh, if it wasn't so deep, you would have hit the rocks hard instead of just scraping your butt on the bottom. Well, some, one, some spots weren't deep. There was one, like, it'll be deep for a while, and then all of a sudden you're in shallow. Just where yeah. the river is. There was one spot I got stuck. I had to just scooch myself and push up my paddle. I was on the ground. I spun around once, but I never tipped. I'm very proud of myself. Awesome. Lucky Seven, good morning. How are you doing, brother? Morning, I just talked to a lovely bride and she said she enjoyed the camping trip. Even when even when you were with her, she enjoyed it. <laughs> you must have done something right. Oh, I'm late for work, and I don't care. Does that does that surprise me? No. <laughs> I'm supposed to be there at six thirty. Yeah. I texted her and said, "I just woke up. I'm coming." Okay. I'm like a lobster. I am a lobster. Oh, I didn't even tell her that way till she sees me. It'll be real hard making beds like this. Oh, that'll be fun when you go to throw your arms up, you know, to, to sling the sheet out. That will be fun as hell, I bet. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not used to working on Tuesday, so I don't even know who I'm working with. Huh. <coughs> I'm sure they're probably going to have to teach you a few things, like who's boss. Well, Being that they showed up to work on time and you didn't. Whoever I'm working with is going to be making the bed. They'll do everything else. Oh. Sure. Don't. You forgot to tell me. Go punch in, Rinda. Hey, Rinda. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many times you got to tell you, but punch in. <laughs> Drove right by it. I feel like coming down here to see how many cars are here. 
Why don't you just come in that way and then that way you'll punch in first. That's this is the only way to get in. I just forget to turn. I'm like, oh, I gotta get my golf cart. Why don't they have the main when you come in the main entrance at the office? That's where you punch in at, right? Yeah, but the office is way down here. Well, yeah, but why wouldn't they put the entrance till it comes up to the office so you can check in and check out? Are they that stupid in New Hampshire? I don't know why they built it the way they built it. Do, you, do they need they that to, Oh, because you gotta be, it's got to be near the pool. You can't have the pool up there. It's not level ground. Huh. They're going to be able to see what's going on in the pool, the playground. That's not Well, they could have designed a driveway to come to the, the office first and then come around. I don't have my keys. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Go Sorry. home. Where's Freddy at? I'll tell him. Freddy, send her home. I can't punch in. Well, I'll have to watch that camping video there, Lucky. My boss will have to punch me in. Yeah, he's going to punch you out once he finds out you didn't have your keys. I don't need it. It's a Mid-Eastern training facility. You're right, Tim. The only bad thing about that is now i got to carry around a bunch of keys for all the rooms i got to do, all the yeah. tents i got to do. Usually Why I just have my one master key, and I don't need all them. Why don't you you're already late? Why don't you just run back home? It only takes you five minutes to get there. Go uh, get your keys and come back. That's uh, not that important. I'm good. I'm here. It's going to work. Probably the same reason why Sam's Club has a register, it registers 50 yards from the exit. It's probably right there. Because I took, I took my keys off my... I didn't want to lose them in the river, so I took them out and I put them in a bag. Yeah? And, I, and then when Tom came to get me, I couldn't find my key. So I just used his car key. So I just have one single oh. car key. I do have this, though. <laughs> this is the soap key. <laughs> that does me no good, though. <laughs> no good. All right. I got to snap out of it. I want to go home and sit in a cold tub. Yeah, snap into a slum gym. You should have went swimming last night after you got done. That way it would help take some of the burnout. Well, I, I did. I didn't swim the whole time until we went through Davis Park, and I had a wicked headache, so I jumped in the cold water because it was cold, and it did help my headache. Hmm. I took a shower when I got home, but you can't use soap because hmm. it tightens up your skin. It makes it worse. Okay. Oh, really quickly move. Well, maybe you, uh, is she there? Maybe she had to find the guy that's got the pit in his basement. Rub the lotion on your skin. That stuff right there is supposed to keep it soft and smooth. <laughs> and flexible. Elegant. Good morning. You're looking lovely as ever. Nice to have you here. Good to see you. That's who she needs to talk to. The man with the pit. Rub the lotion on your skin. Good morning. Yeah, I know. That's, that's fishy there. <laughs> right there, Tim. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, Jean. I see you. Trust me, I see you. Got everything ready for the cart? Going to head out on the highway? So. Got the buns out. They're uh, defrosting right now. Whenever I buy a bunch of buns, I put them in the freezer. Um, that way I have them. So. I was buying frozen buns. And uh, that that's nice, but if you need, you know, if you're having a big event or whatever, then the frozen buns are, are just a hassle. Get your motor running. 
Normally I'm cold, but the cold air feels really good. Um, Brenda? What? You need to talk to the guy that's got the pit in the bottom of his basement. Because he'll tell you how to keep that si that skin soft and smooth and flexible. Oh, well, yeah, put the lotion in the basket. Yep. Grab the lotion out of the basket and rub it on your skin. Rub well, the lotion on your skin. <laughs> Rub the lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose again. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at my leg. Ready? Do me a favor, smack them. Let's see how if they turn white. Then we'll know when they're red. <sighs> Life flight's going over. We had two helicopters fly over us in the river. I'm like, they're too early for search and rescue. I haven't fallen off my boat yet. <laughs> oh, scared. Oh, and I didn't even drink all those drinks either. I knew you shouldn't have went back and got another one. No, I didn't drink them all. But I was an enabler. I was just telling you to go ahead. I only drank two. Hey, Renda. Gene what? says he'll rub lotion on you. Oh, I bet. Yeah, they don't work you at 14 pairs of x-ray glasses when you hit puberty. <laughs> yeah, the no, lotion, they don't work. The lotion hurt. <clears throat> well, it depends on what kind of lotion you got. Did you I get use, the lotion or just regular lotion? I use the after sun lotion. Sunburn lotion. That just hurt. It hurts to touch me. I was hoping that would have been locked so you couldn't get in there. Oh, I would just go home at that point. I had to walk through here. If I bang into something, it's going to hurt. I can't see. Uh. <clears throat> oh, the linen guy came. We have the linens. Uh, yep, yeah, I would. You need some aloe vera. That's what Gene says. Yeah, well, the stuff I have is aloe vera um, sunburn cream made by Banana Boat. Yeah. I got the good stuff. You can get the cheaper version, but I went with the name brand just hoping that it was better. Why every day I come in, this bucket is down. It's like there's a ghost in here or something. Oh, Remember yeah. the soap? Who keeps knocking this stuff all over? I don't know. Just this one bucket. Weird. Where'd this shelf come from? The ghost. <clears throat> Audrey, 98. How are you doing? Nice to have you here. Looking bubbly as ever. And somebody took my spray out of my bag. See? Something just fell again. Haunted, I tell you, haunted. Huh. Oh, you got a rat or a rodent in there running around. God, you're are welcome. They, are they going to order some more spray? I'm going to put you guys down for a minute. I am slow moving today. <coughs> the lights are all right. What am I going to use? What's this stuff? Ugh. I ain't using that. That's nasty. Okay. This is the citrus stuff. I can use this. She said your camera's blurry, so it must be haunted there. Citrus scrub. Fast acting cleaner, degreaser, removes grease, oil, ink, adhesive. Kevin but says it's a stealthy bear tipping over things to distract you before it attacks. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Yeah. If a bear came right now, I wouldn't even be able to run. And my friend, we were in the river yesterday, and she's like, 
you're going to be hurting at work tomorrow. And I'm like, oh. Right. Everyone kept telling me, you're getting burnt. You're getting burnt. You want a shirt? I'm like, no, I'm good. Even in the video, you can hear me say, I don't want a shirt. I did it to myself. It's okay. I'm yeah, what do you want for breakfast, hon? Uh, you want a bagel? You want some eggs? Linda's on here. I can cook while she's on here. So. Hi, beautiful. She says, hi, beautiful. She's burnt like a lobster. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got fried, Kathy. And not in a good way. Oh, Ooh, Velcro hurts. I don't recommend rubbing Velcro across your sunburn. Oh. Huh? I get rid of my tan line, though. Hey. Hey. What? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I need a mop. The floors need to be mopped in the bathhouse. It's going to take me an hour to do my bathhouse. I think I'm going to do the bathhouse and then I'm going to go home. <clears throat> and sit in front of the fan. Hook up the air conditioner, maybe. Why do we have all these mop buckets and not one mop? Like, seriously? Keep them amused. I gotta make some breakfast. Okay. I'll keep you guys amused. You can watch me walk around like I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I was a mop, where would I be? That's a squeegee. That's a broom. What's this? Oh, brand new mop, too. I'll take it. I like a brand new mop. All right. Oh, I need to roll the toilet paper. Put the bathroom. Sort of weird noise. Okay, mop, um, toilet paper. Check, check, check. I need rags. Oh, I hope you guys are all having a good morning. Somebody washed the rags. Oh, my Lanta. Things are picking up around here. I finally stopped complaining. They started actually listening to me. That's a brand new sponge. Are these clean? Yeah, they're clean. Clean rags. It's like a happy day for me. Don't take much. <clears throat> I couldn't find my coffee cup. I think it's in my car. I didn't even look. I just grabbed this one instead. I'm going to put you guys down for a second. So I can't wear my regular work shirt because it's this weird rough material. And I couldn't even get it on. I couldn't even put it on. I tried. And plus, it's like kind of tight fitting. So I didn't want that. So I just put on last year's Hotopia t shirt. If they don't like it, they can send me home. I'm good with that. <laughs> At least I have my name tag and I tried to. And I wear my hat. So technically, I'm in uniform. It's last year's uniform. <sighs> Oh, that's good. Warming me up on the inside. I'm cold. So you guys have to go, if you didn't watch my, oh, I just spilt it all over me. The river videos, go watch them. They're so much fun. So much fun. All right, he's legit cooking breakfast, isn't he? All right, we're going for a ride, guys. 
I'm going to go to the bathroom, not the bathhouse, the bathroom. Sometimes I do it the other way around. I like to switch it up. Let's turn the camera around. We're going by the beach, see how pretty it looks. Maybe we'll see some creatures. Who knows? Sometimes it's there on the beach. I want to see a bear on the beach. That's what I want to see. Oh, God, the wind feels so good on my skin. Holy cow, it feels good. I don't want to drive fast, though. The bumps are going to hurt. After today, I'll feel fine. It's just the night you get the sunburn and the day after is the worst. down Death Hill. Look, I'm hitting the brake and I'm still going down this hill. <coughs> I gotta grade it out. Oh, duck. Oh, geese. Look, I told you we see some creatures. Guys, you see them? See the family of geese? Let me see if I can zoom in. Hold on. Can you zoom in this thing? See the geese? They got, there's the three babies. It's mama and daddy. It's three babies. They're not really babies anymore, though. They look pretty big. Look at that. See them? Quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Anyway, I'm not going to bug you. Do your business. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that. There's a sun coming up behind him. Hi, guys. Daddy's looking at me like, don't even come over here. They'll chase you. You ever been bit by a goose? I have. <laughs> then not happy birds. And then, oh, if you look in the water, there's the loon. The loon's in the water. Here they go. What are you guys doing? Yeah, there's a loony bird out there. He's floating. I'm going to go underwater any minute. I don't know if you guys can see the loon. It's right where the... He is right there. Oh, right there. Bye, guys. And this trapper over here is where the guy saw the moose in his front yard, right here. Last year. Big bull moose. Oh, burr, 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 burr. There's a nice family staying in Trapper 5. And I had to bring them towels. And the little boy, he's two years old. He's so cute. His name is Constant Constantine. And he comes right out of the trapper. He says, what's your name? And I didn't understand him at first. And his mom's like, oh, he's asking you what your name is. I was like, oh, my name is Rinda. She says, can you say Rinda? And he goes, Rinda. And I was like, what's your name? And he says, Constantine. And I'm like, oh, my God, this kid has a vocabulary on him. He was so cute, the little jammies. Oh, I'm not too messy today. I'm doing the bare minimum. Like, how's the trash? There's only a piece of tissue in there. I'm not going to change it. Okay. I put you guys on the sink. I know this is not riveting entertainment. I apologize for that, but we're just gonna do this till God gets back, and then I'll go.
be my day off. So doing this to my daughter so she could go to this place today, though, because she had to get people to cover all her shifts. And she's like, Mom, can you take a couple of my shifts? I said, No, but I will take you six because she only has one 6 a.m. shift. I said, I'll take your morning shift. I'm not doing that before. Not happening. Smells like oranges. I guess it does okay. You know what it needs? It needs to be watered down a little bit. It's got too much, too much concentrate. I can't do it in the sink. Wait till I get to the next sink. It won't fit under there. Yeah, it's got too much in it because I'm touching the sink after and it feels a little greasy. Water it down. Well, greasy. I sit on the toilet and I go, <laughs> Yeah, just do it. Okay, I'm back. Okay, you're back. Yeah. You missed it. I went by the beach and there was a family of geese, and then there was a loony bird in the water. Huh. That's right, nine months of summer, first three months, 100 degrees. There you go. Little Star, Texas Little Star, how are you doing? Nice to have you here. Uh, let me catch up on all these. You go after them by your lawnmower? It's uh, Mama Linda's on the panel there, Texas. Hello, Texas. Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. <laughs> what is that from? Everybody says that, and I have no idea what it's even from. You know? Is that from a movie? That? Is that from a movie or something? A TV show? Hello, Governor. Everybody says it, but I have no idea what it means. Even I say it. I don't even know what it means. Well, uh, from England, actually. Um, Tom's best friend, his daughter Kelly, used to say it to us all the time. And that's where I got it from. That's pretty cool, Jean. You got a cushion recovered? Oh, Jean, you're close enough. Why don't you come do my work for me today? <laughs> I'll teach you. It's easy. If they give me a couple of chalets, I'll be happy because then I'll be it's nice and cool in there. That's right, there, Texas. Thirteen more days. It's our birthday. Yeah. What are you gonna be like a hundred and two? Yeah. Uh, me and Texas are the same age, same day, everything. <laughs> That's cool. Mm-hmm. Waiting for the toilet to stop running so I can flush it. One thing I hate about this place, the toilets stink. Like, not smelly stink, they just, they don't work well. <laughs> yeah, I don't even care. Yeah. I don't even care, I'm leaving it. Happy birthday to you too there, Texas. That will be 56. 65? Good morning, Sprinkle. Did you say 65? 56. By the way, Texas, you're looking lovely as ever. <sighs> Ride with me. All right, now that you're back, I'm going to mute it. Because it's loud when I drive. It didn't work. 
Actually, it's not even. I know it didn't work. I didn't do it yet. Okay. I feel 100. I know. I know the feeling. And I'm not driving fast because it hurts. I freeze. What time did I get here? Was it like 6.45? 6.45. Okay, so I got to tell my boss that. I wish all... I said, well, happy birthday to you too, Texas. I wish all the roads were like this with the mulch. It isn't quiet. Right. All right, here we go. I'm going to mute it. Gonna do my uh, Salvation Army thing this morning and then come back, hook up the hot dog cart, and away we go. Where she stops, nobody knows. So. Okie dokie. Yeah, so this citrus stuff, when you were gone, dog, I was saying, look, it's concentrated. Nobody added water to it. It smells good, but it's like really. Uh, greasy. Oh, it looks like somebody peed in a bottle. <laughs> Smells awesome. It's not smell like pee. Like oranges. I, I tell you what, I like that simple orange and stuff. That awesome orange or whatever it's called. Yeah, this is what this smells like. Mm -hmm. That stuff works great. I don't. I've never seen it, but I heard they make an awesome lemon. Awesome women? Yep. Like awesome orange, but it's awesome lemon. Oh, lemon. I think it said woman. <laughs> yeah, I did that in the 20s, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's um, much better. I bought a bottle of that caramel coffee flavoring yesterday. Yeah. You like I'm it? I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it yet. So. Don't, you don't need a lot of it. It's very sweet. I know you don't need sugar. You just put it, if you want it creamy, you just use your milk and whatever. But yeah. Yeah, I used sugar and it was way too sweet. I'm drinking it well, now. I used to, I, I used to buy their uh, French vanilla and their hazelnut, but half the time they don't have it there. So, and they had one bottle of each. And I only, so I just bought the caramel. I want to try it. Oh, somebody had spaghetti last night. Spaghetti in the sink. <laughs> uh, Kevin, no. No, there's a there's I, I'm married to an awesome woman. <laughs> it really did sound like you said woman. There you go. That's funny there, Bobby. Congratulations. You had did fun Bobby, last night? Did Bobby do his 12 hour live stream yesterday? No, I don't think he did a 12 hour live stream, but he did a live stream last night and he just retracted the message, but he said he had fun and he's going to start doing them every night. <clears throat> yeah, I think that when you're on a schedule like you are, dog, then people will come, you know? Right. You have an actual schedule. You can keep your schedule. I can't keep schedules. I'll, I'll admit it. You can't even clock in at work, my <laughs> Nope. Pretty much. All right, there, Texas. And my friend Debbie, she's like, don't be late. We're meeting at the bridge at 10 o'clock. I got there at 9.45. It was actually early. You would have been proud of me. Yeah. When did she show up? 10.15. Huh. So she got out of the truck. I'm like, um, don't be late, but you're late. She's like, it's not even 10 yet. I'm like, yeah, look at you. Look at your clock again. So how long did you run your live stream for, Bobby? Because it was 10.30 my time, so it would have been 9.30 your time. God, this stuff works great. Why don't you just use this stuff? There was no bugs on the river. That was the best part of it. No mosquitoes, nothing. Too damn hot for him. Well, it was actually, it was kind of cool. It was hot in the sun. 
But like if you went under trees and stuff, it wasn't like super hot. It wasn't humid at all. Hmm. I thought there'd be more bugs. Thank God there wasn't. Because I couldn't deal with tons of bug bites and the sunburn. Look, at, and there's not even that many bugs in the sink this morning. You got to cut a hole in the floor there, Gene, or drop the tank to get the fuel pump in it? So you shut down at uh, 10, 11 your time, so it had been 11 o'clock, quarter after 11. There you go. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see. It's so dark in here. Oh, there it goes. It's light. Yeah, this is going to take me an hour. Oh, it's got a door for the... That's nice. <laughs> it's got a door for the factory so you can just get in and out. That's good. Nine days, $900 for your car. Oh, why? Turned out to be an expensive adventure, didn't it? Lord Brandon, how are you doing? Nice to have you here. Good morning. Hello, Brandon. This is the dark bathroom. Perfect. I'm just wiping stuff down today. I'm giving it all. Nice to I bet they are expensive. But you know what? Too bad every car manufacturer didn't put a door on them so you could change them out. That'd be nice. <laughs> but a bargain in the hook. That's funny. That's funny, Kevin. <sighs> they didn't tell you how much it was going to be at first to get it fixed? I'd been better off just to buy a car. If you could afford it. Bathrooms are pretty clean today. We did them well, so there's probably nobody there. Oh, you know why? <laughs> you know why they're clean? I can tell mm -hmm. by the writing on the chalkboard. My did boss. you clean them? No, my boss did it. I can tell mm -hmm. because the French people write their numbers funny. Mm -hmm. Their ones are usually like... Like that, like a tent. Yep. Yep. I'm almost at 2,000. I'm at 1,900, I think. So, had to replace a pinion seal. You're not at 2,000? I thought you were. No, I was at 1898 the other night, so. I don't even know what I'm at. I know it's still over 1K, but I don't know what it is. Last time I checked it, it was like very close to not being 1K, 1,022. Hmm. Probably see a pinion seal next to a horse and see where it probably did, Kevin. Toilet paper is good. As long as they have to look at that. All right, what's today? Is today June 2nd? Yeah, today's the 2nd. July 2nd? In You're a good shop. Where have you been? I've actually been thinking about you. I haven't seen you in so long, I forgot what you look like. Nice to have you here in a new intake manifold. Okay. But uh, 
What kind of vehicle you got there, JC? Is it rear wheel drive, front wheel drive? Okay, she still doesn't have a car, huh? What's that? You been in Texas? God bless Texas. <clears throat> okay, that's done. Oh, I realize that, JC, but what kind of what kind of piece of crap is it? <laughs> What'd you say, a piece of crap? Yeah. POS. I have a POS. Twelve hundred. Piece of crap. Well, like, uh, Adam Sandler sings in his song. I got a PO, POS car. I got a POS car. <laughs> And he probably did before he was an actor. That's right. She needs a real mechanic, Gene. You're you're from Georgia. You know how to get down there. Biscuits and gravy there, uh, JC. Gene worked for biscuits and gravy in Gas Point. <laughs> Gas money, biscuits and gravy, and coffee. It, it might be an expensive adventure with a coffee and biscuits and gravy, but he'll work for it. Brand new mop. Brand new mop. These mop buckets are pretty nice. I want one for my house. Got a little twist thing in it. Uh -oh. I bought a mop bucket at the Salvation Army, and it's it was a uh, the ringer, uh, yeah, like a ringer type. Um, you bring the you know you know you, you soak the mop, then you bring it up, and you put it in the thing, and you push down on the pedal, and you just you know, and it rings. Oh, yeah, water for two bucks. I absolutely love that mop bucket. <laughs> Beats the hell out of wringing it out by hand. Am I on camera? No, not now. What happened? I don't know. Ah, uh, crap. Ready to get a horse? There you go. Oh. All right, I have to go out and come back in. All right. I you can use that. the same link. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Hold on. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. That's so funny. My phone's not even on. Huh. <laughs> Ongoing call. I hit. All right. It says you're already in the call. All right. I don't know what I did. But that's the kind of bucket like this. Is this what you're talking about, Doug? What the heck? Oh my God. I think you need a new phone. No, I hit the wrong button. One of these, right? Nope. No? No, mine's just got, you know, like the press on it. Uh, you pull it in, you push it down in there, and you know, get it wet, and then you, you put it in the slot. You press down the pedal, and you pull up, and it rings it out. Huh. It's like got like the old ring of washer machines. It's got two little rollers on it. In between, you push those together, and it rings out the mop. Uh, the mop. And I said, I that this thing was on. I bet it was brand new because it didn't. You know, it wasn't stained up. There wasn't nothing in it or anything. And it was. I think I gave two ninety nine. It was on sale, so I give a dollar fifty for it. Pack a TP, there you go. I was uh, watching, uh, looking on uh, Facebook Marketplace last night, and uh, this uh, advertisement for an apartment just in the next town over. One bedroom apartment, 
all utilities included. And it's giving you know, it's showing the apartment. It's got a nice size dining room, living room, you know, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom. Nice looking apartment in downtown. Six hundred and fifty bucks, and that's all your utilities included. I damn near called the I damn near called the place last night. Hey, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, that would be uh, basically about two hundred dollars more than what I'm spending here a month. But that's uh, not the uh, you know all the uh, utilities included either. So I'd be saving about four hundred bucks a month. It's, I know it's hot already. I was already. I've been out there since four o'clock this morning. No. Cockies, 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 Jerry. Cockies. Oh, cockies. I went Cockies. Down the, I went down the river, and the water was so clean. It was wicked clean. But she got put in like a lobster. <laughs> yeah. Well, the way I have my this hangout thing right now as I'm not going to be on camera, but I can actually read the chat, so that's cool. There you go. You can hear me and I can hear you, so that's all that is. I just can't mute it when I'm driving, sorry. No mute. Huh. Let it go. I lost the chat. There right. you go. Oh, 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 <laughs> my wrist, you can see where I had an elastic band around my wrist. I got one white stripe on my wrist. Should have had an elastic band on both of them so it wouldn't look like you were uh, handcuffed and changing and got burnt. Well, I have a bracelet on the other side, so it's probably got a tan line under it. A little bit. Good morning. Oh, do I feel rain? Oh no, I'll get them for you. That's my job. Oh, I lost my soap. Oh, I left it at the other one. Hmm. Man. Can't, nope, can't bring it in, Lou. I'm not even dead. I think she saw one on the other one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's dead bugs and everything. Yeah. Yeah, see? Is there one over there too? I think my thing's a hey, I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and bought a bag of ice, a seven pound bag of ice for a buck. Oh, That's right. Guess who's buying her ice from the uh, from the Dollar Tree from now on? This guy. That's right. Because it's a dollar seventy nine for a seven pound bag any place else, or dollar ninety nine. And it's four bucks for a twenty pound or a twenty one pounder or twenty four pounder. Check, make for sure four bucks, I can get twenty eight pounds of ice. It's the guy with the leaf. Oh, this one's out of order. Oh, did not know that. Housekeeping. <laughs> Let me show you the paper. <laughs> There you go. Hey, Kevin. I got some Natty Daddies Ooh. last night. Just get my son alcohol. That. You good. 25 ounces. That'll get you lit pretty quick. Yeah, that's what you should love, man. That's right. Yeah, I need to get me a cooler and start sitting it by my recliner. I've already I've already got a portable urinal in the bedroom. <laughs> what do they call those? Um, you know the, the the jugs that they give you at the hospital, <laughs> just in case you got to go in and you're in bed. 
She flushed a tidy bowl, man. It's called a piss pot. One of our bathrooms is out of order. Imagine that. Huh. It's that one that wouldn't, that kept running and wouldn't flush. Seems to me they'd fix it. <sighs> yeah. They probably need a part or something. Otherwise it would be fixed because Eric's pretty good at maintenance. See, you ought to have Gene get a job there. He ain't that far away. He could drive every day and be the maintenance guy. That's what I just said. He can come do my job for me. That's right, Kevin. That's the entire outdoors. But I bought Natty Daddies last night, the 25 ounces, and they come with the 8.0% you know, alcohol by volume. So that's a lot better than the natural light or the Natty Lights because they're only 4.5. So... If you can get that on a 25 ounce or 4.5, just imagine how you lit you can get on a Natty Daddy at 8. Yeah. Right way. yeah. Have a good day. Still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. I don't say anything. Huh? I thought my phone went off. I have my cleaner at the other bathhouse. Now I'm going to go back. All right, dude, Texas. Texas leaving? No, no, she said she's, uh, Cleaning her room and she's typing on and off. Uh, kind of like me. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hello. Oh, do you want some? Hey, do you want a beer? Do you want some? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. That, that'll be back here. Oh. Hey. Hey. You saying hey to me? Are you there? Did I lose you? No, you're here. I'm still here. I just had it muted for a second. I was talking to uh, Kath. Oh, when you said, hey, I thought you were talking to me. No. I heard, I heard um, hey, and then nothing. I'm like, what? What? The little, the little girl was funny. She wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't use a sink because there was a bug in it. I have no fear in this here.
Daddy Long Legs. Good morning, Junkyard. Hi, Junkyard. Hi, Handsome. Good morning. Damn, Hi. Kevin. Kevin says he's already fried bacon, wash dishes, walk the dogs, and iron the clothes. <laughs> Come to my house, dude. <laughs> Come over here. You can clean some bathrooms with me. So fast and efficient. Okay. All right, I gotta figure out how to get out and then I'm gonna come back in because I wanna fix it so it's right. All right. So let me see how I can do this. I'm gonna have to power down my phone. Okay, be right back. What's the weather supposed to be like, Kath? Because I don't have weather on my phone no more. I had to take that off so I could make room on my phone to get phone calls. <laughs> That's funny, Kevin. Well, that's good, Junkyard. I would have sent that guy over there to mow your yard for 20 bucks, but he didn't even come here yet. So. You gonna cut your yard today, Bobby? Yeah, I know. You could have hired me. I got all the mowers. What's the weather supposed to be like, Kath? Oh, okay. Because uh, I can't either. I haven't even got the weather on my thing no more. I disabled it. That's right. I could have paid him off. <laughs> You're right, junkyard. You just found your keys. Where'd you find them at? In your purse? <laughs> that's the last place you looked you're right that's what I tell everybody if you lose something go look at the last place you're going to look for it and that's where it'll be Thunderstorms? Yeah, oh, you think I had to go do it today or not? Hmm. 
No, oh, she was like at 8.30 when I get off here. Or when I get back from the Salvation Army. Oh. I mean, I, I was around this morning. I got onions cut. Everything's ready. I'll, Okay. Hmm. All right there, Kevin, you have yourself a great day. That's right. Make sure you have started there first. Huh? I didn't hear you, Kath. I'm coming just a second. Okay. Even Thursday? Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. All right. I forgot Thursday was the uh, 4th of July. So, yeah, huh? Okay. I guess I'm not going to swing any winners today. Huh? Huh. Jesus. I said because we need it. I know. Next week rain too. I guess I guess we haven't had enough rain in the last two months. Huh. Going to the Social Security office there, junkyard, get everything started. You got a spider there, Mama Miranda. Yeah. What's bad? Huh. Come here. Yeah, two hundred and forty dollar bill from the place they sent you. Did you tell me? Did you tell me your name wasn't Bill? All right, there, Gene. Take care. Yeah, better get it wrapped up. Oh, she There we go. 
one we could see. No, I'm just, I love you, Kath. I'd do anything for you. Oh, pat myself on the back for showing off. Pat yourself on the back? Yeah, you're showing sure off. Yeah, right. I ain't sure. Tell me how it's going to win over the other time. Huh? Tell me how it's going to win over the other time. Oh! I <laughs> thought. Oh! You almost said the F. I know. I'm going to say the F word. Yeah. By the way, I'm rubbing her foot you know, in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing. So. <laughs> call it what you want. <laughs> Stick call it what you want. You want me to kiss him? Mo Flips, how you doing, Rocky? The nectar of the gods. That's right. Coffee. Stop it. <laughs> this little piggy. Shut up, James. Kathy, uh, Gene says, Kathy, if he kisses your feet, kick him. <laughs> well, hi, Midnight. Hi, Sonic. <laughs> Where's Mama Rinda at? I thought you were coming back. What? You get to read it because tomorrow's the last day. <laughs> no, it's, this is the other day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know my days. Yeah. Day. You're waiting on your nectar, Junkyard? No. Not the other one that's going to kiss. 38, it says 36 up there. I can't get it right. That's why they want you to pay for the paper. They can't never get another reporting, right? Just choked on your nectar? Well, that's okay, Mo. I got to mail out a package today and tomorrow, or today or tomorrow. I gotta make me a Franken box. I bet. So. You got two going out, that's pretty good. I, uh, my account actually was suspended. So I called him up and said, why is my account suspended? They said, for non-payment. I said, what do you mean for non-payment? On my eBay there, Rocky. I said, well, you haven't set up an account. I said, I have two set up an account. I sent it up twice. So they started looking, and there was a glitch in the computer. So I said, you know, I, I know it's paid because I've got it right here that you guys have took it out. So um, she had to go in and manually override it to get my account to start back up again. Well, that would be nice. JC said she'd send some mint from the garden to soak your feet in. I've, I've never heard of it, but if it works, I'm sure I could use it and Kathy could because her feet hurt and mine do too. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I know. They started that new, yeah. So. That's when I get on there. I start doing the, when I do the package, I do how big the box is going to be. 
you know. And then I put, I always put a couple more pounds on the on the package because I've been stroked once on the weight already or once on the shipping. And I, I'm not going to do that again. I'd rather you overpay, you overpay on the shipping and get it than underpay on the shipping and me get it, uh, me get it. You know what I mean? But I ordered a bunch of boxes from uh, uh, post office, and I I got some of them, but I didn't get all of them. I wanted uh, you know a, a a bundle of every box they had, so I could you know in case that whatever box I needed, and I didn't get them all. I got was just a few, so I got a, I got three bundles, but I didn't get the um, all the sizes I wanted. I did get the labels though. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool there, Junkyard. I would, but I don't have a scale to weigh them. I just give a good guesstimate. If I think something weighs two pounds, it's going to weigh at least three. You know? I think something weighs 10 pounds, it's going to weigh 12. So, and I always, you know, if it's, if the thing is 10, 10 inches by 12 inches by 8 inches thick, it's going to be 12 by 14 by 18. So, the box. You had to tell them to stop working. <laughs> you probably had a repeat on it. <laughs> you tried my name on Facebook and they still wanted an ID junkyard? <laughs> yeah. I don't even own a bathroom scale, but that's pretty cool. They had Dan's final delivery. I don't even think I'm eating about our husband. What do you want? Who? This is Squires. Oh. <coughs> Not even perceiving every death. Nothing. You can't even get it on Facebook at all now? Junkyard. They told him his name wasn't real, so they they took it close to the account. I said, well, you can use mine. I'm sure that'll get you in the door. <laughs> oh, no. Not another Keith Miller. Um, they're having a cookout at my sister-in-law's house. Uh, so I got to make the baked beans. I got to go get that slow here. You going? Huh? Because you're hauling people. You said. But the beans have to squeeze them in. Be careful you don't get bigger. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, that's okay. Make the baked beans. I'm not going to run down and get hot dogs. I got some out here. We'll just use those instead. Beans, it's going to rain anyway, so I can't serve them. Just send the jumbos with you. I have to run down and get some more. I'll do it before August because they're at six ninety nine a package and all, and then they go back up to eleven ninety nine or whatever. So I want to get a few packages put in the freezer. Yeah, Thursday's your son's birthday. Well, that's pretty cool, JC. How old is your son? I think 19, something like that. 18, 19. Do a couple of racks of ribs. I got four, I think I got four beef racks of ribs out there. One of these days I'm going to cook them. I'm not a big rib fan. He's 
he'll be 19. Not a big rib fan either, but Kathy loves ribs. So one of these days I'll make them, uh, boil them up, get them ready, and put them on the grill and cook them. I would do them in the oven, but it's just too damn hot. Who's your daddy? <laughs> yeah. So. Anybody doing anything? I got to make a uh, night work. Huh? She's got to work that night, but. She has Wednesday off. Wednesday, yeah. So she don't have to go in Wednesday night, which would be her Thursday. Yeah. So you work tonight, and you don't have to work uh, tomorrow. It's your day off then. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Man. This, uh, you know, leave your foot up here. Just let's get in a Charlie horse or something. Like that. Your wife loves ribs. I bet. I'm sort of. I sort of, you know, I'm not used to having any day off. Yeah, she hasn't had a day off since you started, have you? One. One day off. So, uh, almost been a month. Month today, isn't it? A month tomorrow. Month tomorrow. I don't even know the days. You're right, John Kerry. Well, what we do is we actually, um, I try to get the silver skin off, and then I boil them for a little bit, and that starts the cooking process, and then uh, we'll either put them in the oven or put them on the grill. But uh, they are. Now, I have just cooked them in the oven, and I put a, you know, the heat at 225 degrees, and I cooked them for like, eight hours in there and they turned out really tender. But I could put them on the top rack of the grill and just turn the grill on low and cook them that way. You got to see some of up here. Huh? Season, yeah, they got all sorts of barbecue seasoning and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love German potato salad too. The case take you twenty dollars at Kirk Aga. Huh? No. I did. I uh, used that. Um, yeah, I went to the store with it. No, I... Hold on a second. Ollie's has ribs for $1.49. That's pretty good. Uh, through today. I love Ollie's. So do I. I love Ollie's. Do you want any ribs from Ollie's for $1.49? Oh. Oh. He says through today. I'm I'm beginning to love Ollie's more and more every day. It just, I just wish they'd have more stuff. You know, they have a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of stuff I need that they don't have. I do know now they, they're starting to carry potato salad, macaroni salad, and coleslaw. They never used to, but they are now. I don't really care for that. I like homemade. I like homemade too, but when it's just, you know, fast is fast. So. How's that? Huh? Tape dispenser. Have that at work. Yeah. Remote no. one? <laughs> yeah. Get my bag. 
Foi legal, não? <risos> não, é uma Holanda. <risos> I, bought, I bought that at the Antique Tractor Club. Went down there. They went, remember they had them for sale at the auction, I bought that the next day for five bucks. So. All right there, JC. Got it. Yeah, they don't have any hominy, you're right. Well, I love fried hominy. Kathy, Kathy loves hominy, fried hominy. In butter and salt and pepper. Butter and salt and pepper. Yeah. Yeah, and they have just white vinegar. But see, Dollar Tree has apple cider vinegar. I, there's a lot of stuff that um, all these doesn't have, Dollar Tree has. So. <coughs> And what's really great is all these is right next to the Dollar Tree, so you just pull out of one parking lot into the other stuff. I don't. I just walk. Yeah, Kathy just walks from one to the other. So, but uh, yeah. Now, I'll buy ketchup. Uh, I'll buy my ketchup at uh, Dollar Tree because it's Hunt's or Heinz or whatever, and it's a twenty-four ounce bottle for a dollar. I won't buy the mustard there because the mustard is a buck, but I can buy the mustard at uh, all these for 49 cents. So I buy my mustard there. Um, I buy my relish at, uh, at all these because it's 89 cents or something like that. So I got a, I was going to pick up 10 jars of that Vidalia onions the other day. I got to get those. I don't want them to go out of business before I get them or, you know, quit selling them before summer. If you guys have never had it, Mount Olives, or Mount Olive, Vidalia onions. There's a jar, I think, on the top shelf, Kathy. You want to hand it? Is it? Oh, never mind then. But you, you got to try these. Um, they're good on hamburgers, and it's good on, and especially on hot dogs. I... We started serving these, um, serving that on the, on the cart, and there were people coming back just to buy another hot dog to have that again. And then we had people coming over and saying, hey, where'd you get that stuff? Right here it is. Mount Olive, Simply by Delia. I'm telling you, if you like... A nice. It don't really taste like onion. It don't. It don't. It tastes like a, actually like a bread and butter uh, uh, onion or pickle. But it. I'm telling you, if you guys love hot dogs or sausages and you like onions on them, this is almost like the peppers and onions you get from Tony Paco's. And Tony Paco's is like five dollars for a jar half this size. Uh, this jar I bought. Four or five jars at two dollars and twenty-five cents a jar, and that was on sale. Well, now the jars are, you know, it's two seventy-nine a jar, and I'm probably going to buy. I should buy ten jars because we're probably going to use ten jars by the end of the season. And uh, I, my sauce, and my my hot dogs are all beef, Texas, and they're not the skinny ones either. The the, the they're eight to ones, which means they're two. Uh, they're two ounce hot dogs. So, and they're they're all beef. I do sell a uh, quarter pound regular hot dogs, but uh, I don't. Uh, I sell the all beef, and they're cooked by themselves. The um, regular quarter pound hot dogs are cooked by themselves, and the sausages are cooked by themselves too. So you know, none of that ever. You don't, none of the flavors ever mix. And I don't put them in the same container when they're done either. They're, they're all put in different containers or different pans, warming pans when they're done. So. Um, you do know they make um flat hot dogs it is it looks like um, it tastes like a hot dog and everything else and it looks like a slab of bologna but it's about that thick and you can put it on your grill or you can put it in your steam pan or whatever and you um, warm it up they're already cooked 
<laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Go wash your crack there, junkyard. I'd love to get a 50 pound bag of Vidalia onions from the down south. Oh, but uh, uh, anyways, it looks like a it looks like a big chunk of bologna, that hot dog, and uh, you can only pearl meats sells it, and what it is, it's basically it's a ground hot dog, or you know, it's hot dog, but they put it in a great big casing and they slice it, I think a quarter inch thick. And each one is two ounces or something like that. It's pretty neat. And then you just serve it on a hamburger bun. All right. I don't know how the hell you'd ever, I'd, you'd get them up here, but because uh, uh, the most of these places frown on sh on shipping. I could probably order Valdelia onions, uh, you know, uh, there's a produce guy down in uh, Toledo that I could probably order 50-pound bags of Valdelia onions from. Um, I'm he has 50-pound bags of peanuts. And I've been thinking about selling peanuts, too, but uh, I got to get the right things for that, so. I've never roasted peanuts or boiled peanuts or anything like that. I'd have to check out how to do it. Yeah, they don't let them fall off the truck anymore, do they? Hell, not the price of onions. I just bought a bag of, uh, three-pound bag of onions. It was like $2.49. I said, man, I'm in the wrong business. I should have started growing onions. What did that cost you, Mark? And how big was the box? We can't, we really can't get Vidalia onions up here that often. Every once in a while, you'll find a, a guy, a produce guy or whatever, you know, he'll be up here with a truck with, you know, 50 pounds, bags of onions. People say, well, 50 pound bags of onions are, you know, that's a lot of onions. Well, it is, but if you hang them in a dark, cool place, they'll last for a long time. So. My pantry happens to stay about 50 degrees during the summer about 50 55 somewhere around there during the summer and around 38 degrees in the winter by the way good morning mark nice to have you here And if I can get away with it, because basically all this is the bread and butter onion. If I could get away with it, I'd can my own and start serving my own, but I can't do that. No. Hey, hand me my phone right there by the counter. I guess we're not uh, slinging hot dogs today. I know. Or Thursday or yeah. next. Well, next week I won't be here anyway. All right. We've uh, been leaving like 20 minutes. 
Cat's not up. Cat's not up. Are you, are you gonna call him? Call him? Huh? Or you can just gonna call Cat? I ain't calling Cat. So Cat's not up. He's not up. Um, no, not. I don't know. Because I saw the baby. No, they put, yeah, I like a big Vidalia on you, not them small ones. That's coming up, but yeah. that could be deceiving. So. No, I know. So, I was out there this morning, I separated hot dogs and sausages, put them in little, you know, 10, in, 10 to a bag and everything. I don't want to take, I don't want to defrost too many if I'm not going you know, to do too many, so. Um. Okay. So, as soon as I get off here, I will. So. Yeah. Do what? Nothing. I separated hot dogs and sausages. I put them in separate bags. Oh, you them before garbage. Yeah, I like, clean out the refrigerator. Yeah. But I do. I like the big ones there, Mark. Uh, the big uh, that day onions. I like the ones the size of softballs. You know, they make good. Uh, they they make good grilling uh, onions for hamburgers and stuff like that. So. But I just this morning I just chopped five pounds of onions. So chopped five pounds of onions. I did a bunch of stuff. It's over here someplace. I just heard it. Right, it's under the paper right here. Oh. All right, honey. Yeah, buffalo. Yeah, buffalo wings and onion. Yeah, buffalo wings and onion rings. There you go. Yep. And yeah, the Wawa. I love it. You know, like I said, and I love, I do. I love uh, onion rings. And if that's what I, if I had, uh, you know, the big Vidalia onions, I'd make onion rings for us here. I can't do it on the cart because I'm not allowed a, you know, a deep fry or anything. But I do it here. So I got a nice uh, deep fryer for it and everything. So. I can, do I got a fan mail address? You mean email address? Iron Dog sixty three at email dot or at Iron Dog sixty three at gmail dot com. I don't I don't know what a fan mail. If you're talking fan mail, I have no idea what that is. But if you're saying email, Iron Dog sixty three at gmail dot com. But I think you already know that. So. Um, Yeah, I know. A, a true one, yeah. Oh, snail mail? Yeah. I got a home address. Um, uh, I'll meet, I'll email you my home address when I uh, get off in here. Uh, In fact, I'll do it right now, so before I forget.
Damn it. I hate that when I hit the wrong button. Banana said you can wait There you go, JC. I just sent it to you. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, if I don't, if I don't do something when I'm thinking about it, I forget. I'm the absent-minded professor. Good morning, Tammy Sprinkle. You're looking lovely as ever. Right now it is 818. I get off here in 12 minutes because I go to the Salvation Army for their half off stuff. So uh, you're welcome. Um, I do that every Tuesday. I was good morning, Caroline. I was going to go to uh, and Christy and Tammy. You're all looking lovely as ever. Texas and uh, JC, you're all looking lovely as ever. You too, Mark. Bobby, you are too. So, no, you're not invisible today. I was busy doing something. Sorry. Um, I was going to sling wieners today, but evidently it's going to rain. So, doesn't look like it, but I don't want to get all set up and then it start raining. So, because, you know, then it costs you money because everything you set out, you can't use again. So. I got to check when my birthday is. Let's see. It should be a national holiday, I would think. It's on a Monday. Great. So. All right there, Texas. You have a great day, too. Make sure you come in and see me on our birthday so we can say happy birthday to one another. I think I'm older than her because I was born in the afternoon. I think she was born in the evening. She doesn't. She doesn't really remember, but because uh, she was young then. <laughs> That's right. I do. Cool. Three day birthday. There you go. I do get X-ray vision, Christy. Right. I feel like Marty Feldman. <laughs> yeah. All right there, Texas. Well, I appreciate you being here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you was born in the morning. Or, I, well, I thought you said you were born in the evening. I, I don't know. But I, I think I'm older than her. 
Maybe, maybe not. It'd be something if she was, my brother was born, then she was born, then I was born. Then I would be younger than her, my older brother, my brother would be older than her, so. Don't look, Apple, it's too late. That's right. He was born after 3 a.m., Caroline. Got to hold my grandson yesterday. Yes, I will. I will, I will, I will, and I'll do a damn good job. And I tell you what, when I'm done singing happy birthday, I'll probably pat myself on the back because I'll enjoy it so much. Okay. My birthday is the 15th of July. Today is your birthday. Yep. Just like your husband, yep. July 15th, most iconic day ever. It should be a national holiday. It should. Just ask me, I'll tell you. I don't know if you, you're here, Caroline, but I was talking about this for the cart. You need to get these. If you like hamburgers or hot dogs or sausages, Simply Vidalia, Mount Olive. I'm telling you what, you buy a jar of these, you'll, and after you open them up and use them, you'll go back to the store and buy another jar. Um, excuse me. Pardon me. No, we're not stubborn. We just know everything. Sorry. But that's the way it is. I used to sing like Marilyn Monroe, uh, JC. I used to sing Happy Birthday away to everybody. Then I decided I'd start singing like Sylvester from the Sylvester and Tweety. Nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear whoever. Happy birthday to you. That's right, pickled onions. I used to sing it that way, but I think people have more fun when they sing it like Sylvester. Happy birthday to you. Suffering, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear whoever. Happy birthday to you. Suffering, fuck a tash. Hopefully, you guys are laughing and falling out of your chairs, but I highly doubt that. Good morning. Gene, where's Gene at? I think Gene left. Oh. Anyways, hopefully you guys liked it. And one of these days there'll be a big surprise in the morning. Probably, probably tonight. I don't know. Probably be a big surprise tomorrow morning. I have no idea. That's, no, that ain't. I got coffee. Coffee. Oh. 
Copy, copy. Ah. That's right. The nectar of the gods. How you doing, Grizz? I ain't gonna be here much longer, just a couple more minutes, but oh, I'm glad I read that. I thought you were calling me beautiful. Then it says Tammy. Okay. Anyways, yeah, just a couple more minutes and I gotta get out of here. I gotta do my Salvation Army thing. Deadhead, good morning. How are you doing? Nice to have you here. I am leaving in a couple minutes, so. So I appreciate you stopping in, I really do. I was going to sling some wieners today, Grizz, but evidently the sling and wiener thing is out today because um, it's supposed to rain. Uh, by the time I get it all set up, it's supposed to rain like an hour after I get all set up. And if it does, you know, everything I got out there, I'm, I'm going to lose, so I might as well not even do it. That's right, you're finding them frog's hair split four ways. That's right. Oh. You had fun last night there? I'm glad you had fun there, Bobby. So, finer than Carolina in the morning. Great. Right. So, all right, everybody. It's eight twenty-nine. I gotta get out of here. Now, I I got things to do. People see it. Deals to find, but y'all have a great day. You had showers yesterday. Looks like more of the same today, probably. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Take care. Prayers and peace to you. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay dry. And y'all take care. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here. Um, I will be back tomorrow at the uh, same time, same bat channel, same Iron Guard time. So 6.30 in the morning tomorrow, I'll be back here. Y'all have a great day. Um, I got a bunch of stuff to do, but we will see you later. Have a blessed day.